Regina McClain and Gerald Albrecht McVeigh III. They give them call me the historian. Tonight, I'm pleased to present to you a version of Gettysburg. Now is the turning point before 
stole my car. Who knew the politician I voted for wouldn't do anything about this occurrence? <laughs> All seemed terrible for the country. What a new beacon of hope erupted in when a new president was elected. Franklin Delano Roosevelt took office and immediately started work to get the country out of the Great Depression. We're going to ensure that the we're going to ensure the banks so that they won't go belly up. Yeah. We're going to increase government spending. Yeah. We're going to invest in farms so that farmers aren't getting foreclosed upon. Yeah. We're going to build up a giant national debt which hasn't been paid off to this day. Either way, FDR's New Deal was doing good work for the country. Many people were beginning to make their way out of debt, and many people were beginning to get back to work. It wasn't until 19. And the U.S. is dragged into the Second World War when the Great Depression really came to an end. The U.S. joined Great Britain, the Soviet Union, and China as one of the big four powers in the Allied forces, fighting against Nazi Germany, Italy, and Japan. FDR acted as a great leader during this time, pushing back the Nazi forces out of France and back into Germany. The only thing we have to fear is fear itself. Then, in 2000, 
2016, they nominated the first orange one. <laughs> Each 